I think we can uh, clean the table off and start. Just, I want to get this one going, for better or worse. <laughs> I was offered the uh, fellowship. What was it? Yeah, fellowship. Fellowship, which gave me a certain number of days to work in this media. And uh, so first, I had to overcome my bias to not thinking that I liked. You know, the, the idea of paper making was kind of a little art, artsy, rarefied to me until I came and saw how you know it was really done and became much more of a physical process, uh, much more akin to the way I work on sculpture. With every new artist that comes into our residency programs, because <laughs> none of them really know anything about it the medium of paper making. It's always uh, exciting and it always challenges us to reinvent different ways of working. We're in Midtown Manhattan and we're an artist's workspace working with artists in the medium of hand paper making. So the idea and our mission is to really create innovative and unique works of art in, in the medium of hand paper making. We invite artists from all backgrounds to participate here. Our collaborative staff, our artistic collaborators, are very skilled in helping artists realize their vision in what really becomes a new visual language for them in our studio. Well, aesthetically, Mel really is the one that decides whether a piece is successful or not. It's always a conversation. Right. It's always a conversation because I'm interested in what you know other, other people see. Uh, but what is incredible to me looking at this one is the depth of these these uh, shapes. I mean, it's practically like the original uh, wood piece I made. This is, this is the part that, that developed with time, as I didn't know that I could possibly put things, these holes, that deep into the paper without breaking it apart. And this particular one, even though I thought the paper was going to be too thin, really, I think it's, I think it's particularly good. That. Does, does it seem deeper than usual? Yeah. Somehow? I mean, it's the same mold, but, but maybe the thinner paper. As we produce paper, we're dialoguing with the artists and focusing on the conversation we're having with them as they're producing. The whole idea is that they're taking this thing, sucking it into their practice, and making it their own. And we want to like just basically facilitate that. The show we're working on is called Material Assumptions, and it's in conjunction with the Dudene Archive Show. But the idea is that we've solicited artists who are hybrid media artists or artists who haven't worked with handmade paper, and we're approaching paper more like a component. So all of us have a deep love for paper, but many of the artists we're using do not or are unfamiliar with it. And the idea is that they're going to use it in new and challenging ways and incorporate it into practices that, in which they may have never done that before. So um, basically right now we're producing the paper to send out to the artists. To think about paper as um, sort of a jumping off point as a material to be used is really interesting as a concept and definitely one that we're using for our show. But I also think of it as its own medium. It has its own qualities, either with watermarking, pulp painting, or other like, more sculptural techniques. There is a strong relationship to materiality that I think students are very attracted to these days. And I think it has a lot to do with the hegemony of the digital world. Uh, we definitely see that in graphic design. Graphic designers uh, in their 20s and 30s who are typographically very sophisticated are very interested in uh, working with metal type, for example. I think there's something about the relationship of the, of the hand, the eye, and the brain, and what is lost 
for creative people who are locked into a computer screen all day long is that missing element of the hand. You know, I always like to say that the opposable thumb evolved for something more than hitting a space bar. And that there's a really instinctive feeling, just feels good to get back in touch with your opposable thumb.